Taylor with my weekly scoop on making the healthy choice. Wondering what to serve for dessert for your upcoming barbecue? What about America's traditional dessert? Apple pie. Now, they do use mostly real apples and real fruit in fruit pies, but it's what's added to the fruit, all the sugar that they add, and it's what the fruit is wrapped in, the crust, that can change what was once maybe a healthy dessert into one that is very high in fat, sugar, and calories. For example, let's look at this pie that I bought from the supermarket. Here's an eighth of the pie, which is a serving size, 400 calories, 20 grams of fat, 14 of which are saturated, and 10 packets of sugar in this dessert. Let's instead make one that's a very, very easy recipe to make, much more nutritious, much lower in calories, fat, and sugar, and it's from my Healthy Meals for Your Busy Life cookbook. In it, it uses some brands, some convenience products, but healthier convenience products to speed up the recipe. And as you'll see, it's a dessert that you can serve at your fanciest dinner party or even a casual event. Okay, so let's get going. Okay, the recipe calls for seven cups of diced apples. I peeled them before and cored them and diced them. Okay, so heat those up. And then, there's only an additional seven ingredients in this recipe. So to this add a half a cup of firmly packed brown sugar along with two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. Okay, so add that there. Here we have two tablespoons of lemon rind. Okay, grated lemon rind. And here's two tablespoons of lemon juice. So. You want to cook that for about 10 minutes until the apples are soft and you'll want to cover it and just keep checking to see that the apples are soft and you can cook it to the consistency that you want. After it's cooked, cool it in the refrigerator. And this is what it looks like after it's been cooled down. This is just a portion of the recipe, okay, but the apples are softened. And now let's make the crust. For this recipe, I used phyllo dough. This is a type of dough that you can find in the freezer section of your grocery store next to the frozen pie crust, and it's a much healthier way of making this apple dessert. What I did for this recipe is I used the 13 by 18 inch phyllo dough, because they also have phyllo dough that has smaller sheets, so use the one that has the larger sheets. And you cut each sheet into three, three equal pieces. Then melt two tablespoons of low-fat margarine and just brush each sheet, okay, fold it over two times and then you want to cut the corners off just so that you're getting the points off, so kind of round the corners. Here's a muffin tin that is a non-stick one, or you can use a regular one and spray it with non-stick spray, and just line it this way. It doesn't have to look perfect. You want it to look a little bit scrunched up like that. That's the beauty of this dessert. Then what you want to do is bake it at 400 degrees for five minutes. When it comes out of the oven, this is what it looks like. So now all you do is fill them. This is the cool down apple mixture that we made. And just fill them up here. And then we're going to top it, and you can put a lot of apple in there, as much as it can hold. And then top it with some walnuts. This is optional. But what a great way to add some crunch and some omega-3 fatty acids, which is wonderful for your heart. And here you have the finished dessert, which is quarter of the calories of the other apple pie. Now let's compare this original slice that was an eighth of the pie for 400 calories and all that fat and sugar to this dessert. You could have four of these to equal the calories of this piece of pie here and it's never going to even reach the sugar or the fat content and it's got way more nutrition in it. So if you want to look at it this way too, for half the calories, I mean, how many pieces can you eat? So one or two pieces, half the calories, you're filling up on decadence here. The other thing you can do is have one piece and a half a cup of ice cream. 
Even with a half a cup of ice cream, you've added only 100 calories. I happen to choose an ice cream that has 100 calories per half cup. You can get some ice creams that are way over that, but this is a healthier choice. So for a half a cup, you've added some protein, some calcium, only another 100 calories, and this dessert is half the calories as this pie here, and it's a lot more balanced. These are the facts, you make the choice. Oh, I think I may have already made it for you. Fran here, America's nutritionist of choice, helping you make the healthy choice. And don't forget to tune in next week where our scoop of the week will be, how do you choose a healthy bread at your supermarket?